Um, so there's the market, and then there's the brothel. I think that's almost tailored to market. Brothel, brothel bros. Yeah. Uh, oh, brothel! Don't, don't, the brothel. brothel don't no, don't go to the brothel. We can, we can, we can switch uh, in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, get your money back. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to go buy lady favors. So we'll go, <laughs> get our, get our bronchuses tundled, and we'll be good. Hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not one of those like, I'm not one of those. Uh, Chest, Chest. Clarence, man. <laughs> it's torn up, ladies. I gotta get my scales wet somehow. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> was, did you, you think you have like a cloaca? Or what? Do you, no. Do you have a? Do you have a? <laughs> All right. On? I think we're getting too into it. <laughs> that that this, this is, <laughs> do you have to have like an age warning for this episode? Probably. Probably. <laughs> The fucking reproductive anatomy <laughs> of Dragonborn. All of our episodes could use the age or well, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so meals done. Meet back here at noon. Yeah. Down. Yeah. All right. Me and so it uh, sounds like you guys are splitting up. Yeah. Yes. Me and me and Hangman are just doing some reconnaissance in the market, and I'm potentially going to try and ping out that uh, stolen cache. Cash money. And you guys are maybe going to the red light district. The gonna go light district interrogate some fucking strippers, man. There's more than strippers, my dog. There's more than fucking strippers. Though. And hookers. <laughs> and they will hey, scuttle your uh, rockets if you before, want. Before, before, before the leaves, I say, all right, listen, this is this is gonna require some tact. Confident in Knox. <laughs> I need you to promise me that you're not going to get thrown in jail. <laughs> they yeah. they are ladies of the evening. They work for a living. Just keep the justice to, you know, discreet levels. Wenches love my bird. They don't need to be, <laughs> they don't need to be set free. Wenches love my bird. Okay. Wenches love my pecker. Oh my I, I just kind of... Pecker, I heard I just more. I just give like a... Very audible. <laughs> Fuck. Be calm, Heskar. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be oh, fine. Abide by the customs of this. I'm like, I'm like Raffle. Hangman, let's go, please. <laughs> before, before this gets bad. And I'm just all still, just like, still feeling it. Still buzzing a little bit. Let's go, it! Really audibly. Ah! Damn it. Perfect. I like bonk my, uh, my, uh, Fucking loop on like the side of a table and shit. And just, like, Burn. Oh shit! And stumble a little bit. It's like oh sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I I I usher him out of the house <laughs> quickly. Okay. So I leave a tip of two gold on the table. Roughly when you guys woke up and leave it on the a, a bar or on the bar so rather. And everything else that's happened. It's about eight a.m. at this point. Um, and Whoa. how we will do this is we're gonna go with Hesgar and. Uh, Hangman first, okay, and then yeah, right. we'll switch over to Knox and Wayne Red. The two teams, like you guys, all it'll obviously be taking place concurrently. Right. And we'll just go, with, like you know, we'll cover Hesgar and Hangman first, and then we'll move on to Knox and Wayne Red. Sounds good. I'll let him know that you left that tip to on the oh, bar. Did you hear that I left the tip on the bar? Just the tip. How much did you leave? Two, two. gold. God damn, dude. Dude, okay. I like these old people. They're friendly, man. They yeah, remind they me of my parents. I hate these old men. <laughs> <laughs> you hate that. You probably hate that he's throwing around gold. When yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, come on, man. Dude, you're, you're just a little drunk. Your emotions are going haywire. I am both little and drunk, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little drunk. Wow, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Staying the fucking obvious right now. That's what you, you just like... All right, all right, you all right. racist motherfucker! Before, 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 before you guys start fighting, <laughs> you know Hang Hangman swings. What do you mean by little? A swing, a swing for the tendies. All right. Um, how long Watch does it out. take us for for us to find the market? He he said that it was a few blocks north of here. So okay. as you usher uh, Hangman out of the inn and kind of steer him in the right direction <laughs> down the street. <laughs> You guys meander up into, right now you're near the, you're in like the eastern side of the city. Um, 
and from the inn, you look left and you look right and uh, figure out which way is north and start heading up that way. And as you get about four or five yeah, miles north of where the inn itself was, you start to hear a little bit more clamor and voices. You know, there's a couple of barkers shouting out for different uh, prices and goods and stuff. And it sounds like the market is just around the next corner. We did get hassled by those guards again, did we? Um, not yet. Not, not, not yet, no. <laughs> not yet. Give it time. A, uh, like, more guards than you would expect to see in a town. They're just standing on almost every other corner, just kind of, just quote unquote keeping watch. You know, their gazes are obviously intent, but they are <coughs> more common than you thought they might be. <coughs> Um, can't believe I didn't think about this till now. Um, are, are we, like, me and Hangman at the moment, like, the only dragonborn halfling in the market area? Yeah, is this like a racially pure area? You're the only dragonborn and halfling from what you've seen in the entire town. The we stick up the fucking sore thumb right now. seems to be human. Uh, you have seen a couple of half elves and the occasional rare dwarf, but like the rare 95% dwarf. of this population is human. So you guys are as noticeable as can yeah, be, especially you First at the your, you know, copper scales and your gleaming armor and hammer at your side, and the drunk halfling you're now at company. <laughs> Just imagine you bumping into like fish bag or baskets of fish that are like fucking <laughs> like up to your like. You know, you try to fight me? <laughs> you try to, you try to start some shit? No, 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 he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. He's fine. Smells a little fishy around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Fuck. <laughs> I am so glad we're not doing a discreet <laughs> operation because we would be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I'm with a human. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, can I get kind of the lay of this market? Like, is it uh, kind of like the rest of the town and it's fairly kind of run down or kind of not not run down I guess but uh, a little downtrodden the market as yeah. it's called is only a series of six open air stalls that line either side of the street this place looks no different than any other street except for those six stalls there are people manning each one what was bounty um, guys seen again there cool. are Maybe Bounty? at total five Flint, people Hemlock, not working at these Flint, that are Hemlock, walking around Hem, browsing. Hemwick, it's, Hemwick. it's quiet for Hemwick. a market, you know. A lot of, it's a, it's a fine day out, but a lot Could of people wrong. here are Last name, but it's keeping Flint. to themselves yeah. unless they are specifically TK, going to ask prices or make the transaction. TK. Other than that, it's... What was the Bounty guy's last name? And, Hemwick. and rather small. Hemwick. Hen. Okay. Uh, do you want to press the thing? Yeah. Okay, um, so just kind of um, as I'm walking into the market, I want to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of in my, in my pocket, I know it's, it's a component for it, but just for a visual, like kind of uh, find that forked twig that I need to focus on to uh, start using locate object. And in my mind, I'm, I'm visualizing Hingman's coin purse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a way to say it without making it sound fucking stupid. Not turning it into a that's what she said joke? No, no, I'm surprised you didn't. That, that was like, that was a soft serve right there. That was <laughs> underhand. That's what that she was, said. That was what she said. <laughs> That's the one you go with. Soft I serve. Put, I put a fucking T ball right in front of you, <laughs> and you and you go with that. He's a little gay drunk. Day drunk. Day he's a buzz. I'm a drunk bard. You're getting in it. Getting in it. It's right. kind of funny because he's so drunk and he's like looking at you like you say coin purse and he's like. <laughs> he's just gonna wait for something else. <laughs> yeah. You're like and you're. So easy. <laughs> and you're like biting your words like coin purse. Yeah. You know, and he's just like coin. Purse. Just staring He's just at got it. that like happy drunk wobble going on. He's like, but yeah, okay. um, I, <laughs> sure. I, I, I start to kind of like slowly kind of like peruse the shops, but at the same time mostly focusing on that spell, seeing if I can uh, get a ping off of his uh, wallet. 
What's what coming out of your wallet? Uh, the thousand. range of detection is a thousand feet, and I uh, uh, just so I have the exact wording of it. I think the only thing minutes. that blocks it is lead. Um, no, uh, one second. Um, it's not radiation. <laughs> That's what it said in the. Uh, Actually, it does. Yeah. This spell can't locate an object if any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet, blocks a direct path between you and the object. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like I'm using Superman X ray vision. <laughs> um, but it's a, a thousand, as long as the object is within a thousand feet, I can sense its direction. Um, if the object is in motion, I know the direction of its movement. Hmm. So as you walk with your inebriated little friend, uh, you are looking around at the different stalls and what wares they have, but at the same time in your mind, you're almost in a different place as you're mentally searching for this lost coin purse. And as you send out your little magical ping for it, you get nothing back. Okay. And outside the city limits. And, and, that's, and that's kind of like... Um, over the duration of the ten minutes of the spell, just kind of like doing a do it, kind of you know taking my time, but you know trying to make sure that I can at least get majority of uh, my way around the market and still nothing. I'm assuming. Over the ten minutes, nothing. Thank you. As the ten minutes kind of rolls up, I kind of look at him. I'm like, don't worry. I mean, it might be that you know, the other location. Could be where it's at, but uh, we can try and search there a little more. Well, are there any animals around here? My bird. Do you see um, some just like starlings up in the sky that are like, <coughs> you know, 70, 80 feet up in the air? That's really the only animal light that you see at this point. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, not that worth a shot. If, uh, if you're doing what like, you're thinking about, they're like 80 feet up in the can't you, like, you know... Just drunk shout shrill, at him. A shrill kind of, like, you know... Talk to, uh, <laughs> talk to animals kind of... Let me see. Um... It's true. Can I, uh... Use a, uh... A speak with animals to try and talk with them? You can certainly try. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'll do that. Um, I'll just yell at him. <laughs> Half drunkenly. Hey, buddy! <laughs> buddy, come talk to me. <laughs> My birdman. Alright. <laughs> you see that uh, they're right now is just going like from southeast to northwest kind of a thing they're just yep. in their path over the city right now uh, they turn a little bit to look at you but none of them come down to get within actual speaking range with you okay both of you go ahead and make a perception check i do uh uh, Hingman, you are going to do this at disadvantage. You're looking up at the uh, birds, and you are intoxicated. Whoa! Uh, natural oh, one. Oh, Come God. talk to me, birds! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a natural one. Oh, no. You are so what what by what we're he's doing get right now. <laughs> Neither of you notice the two approaching guards. That <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fuck. Oh, damn it. What's with all the noise? Fucking birds won't talk to me. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to my, uh, my, my bird bros. <laughs> but they dissed me, dude. It sounds like a lunatic. They right. both look at each other and look at you, Haskar. And they say, is he fucking crazy? What is he talking about? I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, he, he's, he's a little touched. and <laughs> it, we, we had a little bit too much celebration. Uh, it seems like he kind of carried it on to this morning. But 
Um, you know, I do apologize for uh, breaking breaking the peace. Um, uh, I, we'll 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 be moving along shortly. Uh, have no shortly. I'll make sure that. As, uh, I, yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like hold my hand away, like the block, you know, talk, like talking towards him. I'm sorry, he's just a little upset. <laughs> little? He got, he got robbed. <laughs> well, it would serve him right, making all that noise this early in the morning. Maybe he kept a better eye open, somebody wouldn't be stealing things from him. <coughs> Whoa. That's true. Um, that's chicken shit. Is I mean, uh, <laughs> no, it's chicken shit. Is there is there so anything? I'm from Bigstonia, and I deal in chickens. He, they both put up their hand, and one of them says, "You take him away from here right now and get him indoors, or I'm slapping you both in irons." <laughs> Thank you. You can't and actually be in a. Door. I I <laughs> physically pick up Hangman. I football carry him, and I, I <laughs> walk <laughs> out of the. Uh, um, Attica. out of the market, <laughs> and like somehow Jesus. I'm fucking like blushing, <laughs> like I'm super embarrassed. He's like Rudy. Like, Fuck Rudy. <laughs> so as you pick him up, they say, "You're lucky we aren't arresting you." Now it'll be twenty gold for the processing of this little interruption to our route. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky I don't poop in your shoes. <laughs> God damn it. it. Sounds like You uh, have no money. <laughs> don't remind I, me. I, I, I look at them. I'm like, guys, come on. It's early in the morning. He's really upset. I know that he's disturbing the peace, but can I, can I please just, you know, uh, get him out of here. Get him out of your sight, out of your way. And... We can all move on with our the rest of our day. Yeah, that's exactly what you'll do after you pay us. Oh my god, these guys. Well, all my money's gone, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm running down this 20... This is, this is coming out of your fucking wallet. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not giving it back to you until I get that 20 out. That's okay. Oh my god. I... I fucking give him the 20 gold. <laughs> I'll, he gives the like most fucking shit eating grin smile, takes it from your I, I ask him. his coin purse and just says, All right, now get him out of here. <laughs> I'm like, so you gonna get on your knees here and the other uh, <laughs> I I holding my hand over Hingman's mouth, I want to dedicate this guy both of these guys' faces to memory. <laughs> and see and try and like photographic memory, like what they look like. Okay, uh, just make a perception check. Fuck! It's another nat one. Another fucking natural one. Oh, God damn yeah, it! Put it away. Put so that guy away. Uh, fucking dice not, jail. like, super familiar with a lot of medical terms, but if you were to confer with a different type of cleric, they Such might ladies. diagnose you with momentary face blindness. Because <laughs> these guys just look like... Every other person you've ever seen, and you will probably forget what they've been like two minutes after walking. It's <laughs> just <laughs> 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 fucking normie. <laughs> As I pick him up and fucking over here. <laughs> I'm. Normie's you know leaving. In my, in my mind, I'm just like, I fucking hate town guards. <laughs> and I just, I pick Hangman up, and I'm. You're lucky I didn't use vicious mockery. <laughs> no, I, I would have fucking. I would have stopped you. <laughs> I just throw me in a dumpster. <laughs> no, no. I. Anyways, I, 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 football carry hangman, hand over his fucking mouth, <laughs> and just walk out of the marketplace, very angrily, like fucking smoke kind of puffing out of the side of my mouth. And I'm hanging loose over your shoulder. I don't up. And that's that. That's clearly it for us. Cool. <laughs> uh, we're going back to the fucking this end. Was that? Are you struggling when he's carrying you? Are you like trying to have enough of his hand in your mouth and pick you up and carry you? <laughs> I was just <laughs> aside from my shock of throwing hand, I'm uh I'm just limp. I just went limp and was on. I can carry squirming a little bit. I can carry two hundred and seventy pounds without uh, without mm -hmm. issue, so change so appearance. Oh, so I don't know if we should do that because I can go to jail. <laughs> 
But you sure? Yeah. I'm sure if we, get I, we just head back to the end. <laughs> We're I'm going for some eating a guard. I'm just gonna fucking get probably. Um, I'm thinking about it though. It's you just hire a prostitute and just ask her questions. That sucks. I had planned on being out for a lot longer because it's only been. I don't want to get hour. harassed. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, so I'm, a, I'm either gonna alter self or go invisible. I think I'm just gonna like to the, buy a hooker yes. and question her. Um, okay. well, shit. Uh, I, I guess I want to tickle him. All right, I find, <laughs> I find, I find, uh, you know, side street, making sure that there's no guards around. Um, can I, can I actively look for? If there's any guards within earshot, or at least like vis- visual range. I mean, that's that's easy to do to to see if there are guards or not because they are so Should common. Um, it would just be a matter of finding okay. one of those areas where there are not. Maybe if it's right, I just, I'll, like yeah. an immediate I'll just try and find like either like a a side street. Yeah, so I won't die. Uh, I'll I'll just try and find like a side street that or something, you know, kind of slightly out of the way. That might be a good idea. I set Hangman down. Okay, let's do it. I like look at him, still holding his mouth. Like, all right, we can try and scout out the town a little more. I need to be crystal clear in this. <laughs> I don't have infinite gold, <laughs> so if that shit happens again, <laughs> I'm throwing you into their fucking hand. <laughs> well, you don't see any more fucking chicken shit guards talking shit. I, I swear to God. <laughs> this is the worst fucking thing I've ever. <laughs> I need you to be my bro right now. All right? All right. <laughs> will you do that for me? I will. Can I inside check him? I'm inside checking Hingman. <laughs> fucking natural 20. <laughs> Try and lie to me, bitch. You lie? <laughs> Dude. Are you lying? Nah, dude. On the ground, baby. Yeah, at this point, Hingman, you're starting to sober up pretty easily after the meal and the time. <coughs> the adrenaline rush of dealing with those fucking normies. So he, Poop in your shoes, normie. So he clearly <laughs> understands me when I say this. And you can insight check me, but I will tell you I am 100% serious. Oh, well, I believe you. Okay, good. All right. Um, I'm going to say that... You know, if we can find a more, uh, did we, did we get an idea of where the brothel was? No, he said there was one. Um, should we ask the guards? Well, no, uh, <laughs> just as kind of like a, yeah, no, they're going to say, well, that's a information tax, uh, another 20 gold. <laughs> that's um, a fuck you tax? Yeah, because fuck, <laughs> yeah. You know, they're fucking racist. That's what yeah. they are. You know, just we're just a couple of fucking guys, but because we look different. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, so, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Wilson, but it was when we got to the inn that he his stuff got pilfered, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It was when you guys had gotten there. You were, had just arrived, and he was kind of glad-handing with people and got bumped by somebody, and that was when he noticed his coin purse was missing. And he said it was like somebody in a gray cloak, right? Yep. yep. From Dark. Um, what little uh, hardest Darkish hardest. coloration to it. All right, I'll try and, I'll try and like, uh, I'll cast, when we get closer to the uh, inn, I'm going to throw out another kind of 10-minute jog kind of in the immediate area, um, trying to locate object again. For the coin purse. For the coin purse. Nothing. The whole ten minutes. There's gonna be some fucking spell tax on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you have any idea what else we should do? I mean, um, at this point, was we've probably only been at it for like an my, hour. My best idea was talking to an animal to see if they saw some dude run quickly out. But we could we, we could didn't we could go for animals. We could go for a walk and see if we can find any animals. I mean. You want to do that? I mean, we, we got. Could. We we. It's like it's like maybe nine o'clock. We have we still have like another three hours. <laughs> I have just enough gold that we might get to noon. I'm not get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> just maybe though. <laughs> like I said, that last twenty is for me. 
Um, do you want to maybe like try and at least spend an, uh, you know, a, the rest of the time trying to find something? Sure. Yeah, we'll um, case around the town, I guess, or near the inn, or just I guess wandering around, uh, trying to find. Oh, what? We're 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 gonna try and find. See if we can like. Uh, go around Arbor'sdale, at least the immediate vicinity of the inn, um, trying to find any sort of animals that Hangman could maybe try and speak with. Okay. One of you, whoever would like to do it, make a survival check, please. I got a three. Do it, but I'm not feeling too good for Fucking two ones, one right after the other. But you yeah, did get a net 20. 20. I don't get That's like so odd to get <laughs> two net right, ones. I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> and then I'll boom, try, I'll try it for him. Uh, 16? <clears throat> yeah, you, instead of just what looking straight up the sky and shouting at whatever's up there, <laughs> you walk around and, you know, <laughs> inspect the places that might be more common to find uh, some animals. And the only animals of note that you find are a raccoon that's digging in the garbage heap behind one of the uh, houses. I'm gonna try and I, 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 I stand oh, far away enough that I don't seem like I'm kind of like with him. Um, and I just kind of, uh, um, I don't know, pull out, pull out some uh, metal and start trying to shape uh, Another symbol of God. Okay. Um, the from where you guys are right now, the raccoon's like twenty feet, twenty-five feet away from you. Okay. I'm gonna um, saunter on over to him. And uh, <laughs> I could talk with the raccoon. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I love it. He's about my my height. You know, <laughs> not too much shorter than like I am. Dog, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like dags? So it's be like, oh, sup, cootie? <laughs> He's a raccoon. George Cooney is his name. George Cooney. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm loving this. How close are you getting to it? I'm, uh, I'm gonna get within, like, three to five feet of it. So, it's probably a I'm radius. a wild animal. <laughs> Once you get within 10 feet of it, yeah. its head pops up from where it's currently scrounging and looks right at you. Okay. So I said, uh, I say, hey, beaky boy. What you, you uh... that close? Huh? He spots you at 10 feet. What's your point? Well, then I'll stand 10 feet away. And I'll, I'll stop a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to come between you and your trash. Not you and your little mealy meal. I won't get in your way. I just got a couple questions for you. Is that okay if I ask you some questions? You can't. Uh, it's hard to read the expression, but it gives you a look of like, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm staying at the inn over there. Um. Come by, it's really nice. <laughs> I was chilling. Uh, some dude came and snatched my coin purse. Um, I'm wondering if you just saw some some uh, shady looking dude. Yeah, a bandit, if you will. <laughs> you can't you know, look like a little bandit. Um, <laughs> uh, you saw him come. He had like kind of a dark. He kind of looked like gray cloak. Kind of like the color of your hair. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Came running. He might have been going kind of quick. Um, it was a pretty hefty coin purse. You would have heard some clanky clanking. Um, <laughs> it, 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 you, you get what I'm saying? And you, did you see anything? It's got a little bit of like moldy bread in between <laughs> its hands right now, yeah. and in between little nibbles. It just lo like it just looks up at you once you're done soliloquying at it. It just turns its head and goes, what? <laughs> Did you see a, a, a darkly cloaked man come uh, 
quickly, uh, quickly, quickly, uh, you know, a little, little pitter patter running past you. Um, I mean, I could, I could, uh, I got, I, I have a nice fresh apple. You want an apple? They're in season. Uh, for for <laughs> any information you may have. Will this help? Do you like show him the apple or something? Oh hell yeah, I do. You're talking at it, and uh, its head is still like kind of cocked in that way of being surprised and confused oh, by the situation. And its eyes focus on the apple, <laughs> and you can and you can just see like the the uh, anticipation and the want on its face. Okay. But it, it doesn't give you a response to your question. All right, George. I see you like this. I see you like this apple. You can have it. You can have it. There's no. There's no strings to your. Well, there's one string. Mm -hmm. I just. I just want to know if you saw some shady looking guy. Quickly. Running off with a hefty coin purse. It. Inches towards you, just a tiny little bit, just like. How close can I get before he does something to me? Yeah. And still has no answer for your question. Like, it's, it's okay, man. He doesn't, doesn't understand the words that you are saying. Like, you are communicating with him, but just because a, like, a toddler can understand the words you're saying, it doesn't grasp the concepts. Okay. Um, scary man. <laughs> Run. Beg of money. You see? Do raccoons have I, a concept can I, can of money? I get the gist of what he's trying to pantomime to this thing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I act out what happened. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like assuming that I'm kind of like across the, across the road, and I'm like doing my little metal work, and I'm yeah, still trying so to keep I'm, an eye on him. You're glancing up to just make sure that what he told you is true, that he's not going to pull any shit. Uh, and he's just like chattering away at this squirrel, this uh, raccoon, like, and it's chattering back to him. And he's pantomiming these things of like person, like exaggerating that he has arms and legs. Um, big. He like puts his hand up above where he is, and then takes he takes another small satchel from his belt and kind of holds it up in front of him and points to it and just rattles it around a little bit. Can I, can I, like, shake mine so it kind of puts off the sound at the same time? Hopefully maybe, like, helping? Because I'm seeing him kind of, like, pantomime, like, the, the, the pouch thing, so I'm just shaking mine so that it makes the sound of a coins rattling. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm um, trying to help you here. <laughs> just go ahead and, uh, Kingman, do an animal handling check, please. You got a damn right, Well, I'm, I'm... What did you do today? <laughs> Tried to fucking weasel information out from a raccoon. <laughs> Don't call him a weasel. Don't no. call him a weasel. Am I at a disadvantage still? No, you're sobered up, bitch. No, you were only at disadvantage for the, uh, the perception, perception because you were looking straight up in the air and kind of drunk. Truth. Yelling at birds. So you hold out the apple to it as you're pan and once you're done pantomiming and you've told him that he can have the apple, you just kind of like put it down on the ground a few feet away from you. And he runs up and grabs the apple and immediately just starts digging into it. And in between his bites, he just, he doesn't give you full sentences, but the basic message that you get from him is person, dark, jingles, and then he motions with his head towards the eastern wall of the town. Mm -hmm. Alright. I, uh, I, I give him a nice little bow. And I say thank you, George. Um, and, and uh, one more thing. Um, what, uh, is there a, well, nah. What's over by the eastern wall? George? <laughs> yeah, 
there's no way for him to, he doesn't, he knows that there's a wall and that there are things in between him and the wall, but he doesn't know what any, he can't, like, okay. I, I'm a raccoon, I don't know what a house is, True. I don't know what any of these things are. I stared a raccoon in my eyes last night. There are buildings that are bigger than me, and there are creatures here, you know, that look kind of like you, not like halflings, but just humanoids. Right. All right. Thank you, George. I appreciate it. Why is his name George? Because he's a raccoon. It's George Cooney. George Cooney. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was surprised that you didn't say anything sooner. I was like, really? <laughs> He just went with it. Like yeah. with, this is like me with the coin purse with you. It's just like, that didn't get you? <laughs> I let it slide because I thought it was just like a comment that he was saying, but then he kept saying it. I was like, why? <laughs> I, uh, okay. I politely, uh, uh, with without turning my back to him, I just kind of take a few steps back, and then I turn and go over to my bro and relay said information that I got. I, I I am equal parts impressed that he got this information and really fucking depressed <laughs> that he did better talking to a raccoon than I did with the arcane magic that I can cast at will. <laughs> I ain't no bitch, dude. I don't say that. <laughs> I don't say that. I absolutely do not say that. I just I'm very I just ruminate and I'm you do have a facade of being the best or of thinking you're hot shit. I know! This, it really, <laughs> really irks me. I just, I clearly, like, I, I start theorizing in my mind that there's some sort of fucking, like, crazy anti-magic field that clearly was up that prevented me from doing my job. 